we're running some chickens. It's kind of the lioness's long lost cousin, dejected stepbrother of sorts. But if you can get enough chickens and they do have a lot of support this weekly for it, it can work really well. And you can get a lot of quick scaling going off. But for some reason you can't free stuff in the shop. It only does future shop pets. I don't know why, but it's very good. Check it out. Got some fun games for you. It is the game you've all been waiting for. We're going to try doing some chicken scaling strats. I don't know if it'll work or not. But that's going to be my, my goal for this, for this game in particular. We've got a good start. Anytime we got an opossum, it tends to go pretty well. And we got some doubles, that's huge. Let's see. Oh my lord. Dude, we're cooking. We got a guaranteed level up as well. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's too many ants. Wait, actually, no, we're good. Hold up. Two wins in a row? This is unheard of. I mean, an ox is okay here. Generally, an ant in front of an ox at the back of the team is pretty solid. At least in the early game. In high key, this frost wolf is looking pretty good. Oh. Speaking of. <laughs> speaking of, alright. Sometimes Teamwood just tells you to go a certain direction. And who am I to say no? Um, okay, we draw, huge. Let's see what we get. Good rock a puppy. Get some lasagna cooking. And then, I mean, let's just straight up. Let's get a bunch of frost wolves in here. Mosquito, doesn't really matter. Ooh, that does matter though. This zone is not going to go in our favor. Double drop bear. It's cracked. Okay, another frost wolf, please. Level three. Into a bison, maybe? We could run a drop bear here, actually. Like I've said before, drop bear pairs super well with frost wolf. And this is just a better version of the ant, so we might as well run it. Dude, this is just so perfect. <laughs> this is so perfect. All of it just lined up amazingly. Okay, and now we have the lasagna spike. Dude, this game is feeling great. I don't even know if we're going to get to the chickens. <laughs> we might just win too early at this rate. Drop air, sure. Just stack a bunch of them. Oh, there it is. We're going to... We could go for the bison. At this point, though, we're looking for chickens, you know? This is a chicken territory right here. We gotta find some chickens. Okay, good, good. And we're solid. Alright, now show me a chicken. Oh, baby. Alright, this is fantastic. Everything is just going swimmingly. And the Frost Wolf, in a way, augments our low attack on the chicken. Fairly well, actually. Um, so we could can food here. There's another one that might be a little too much. I think we try to level into another chicken. Honestly, chocolate cake on a chicken is also very good. Wait, you are me. Hold on. Just kidding, I'm better. <laughs> Another decent error, sure, sure. I mean, Nessie is fine. Is it better than what we have here? It's hard to it's hard to say for certain that it is. When we're not really trying to push the Nessie play here. Hmm. Still not stronger than our our ox is already. Okay. I think we just do this. Try to get a little more shop scaling cooking. Now importantly, this chicken, when it faints here, it will not... Oh, good snipe. 
it will not um, buff the the blowfish that we have frozen. I don't really get why not. I don't see what's so so balancing about the the chicken not doing current and future, just future shot pets. Like it seems so minute. Just let it happen, you know. Just let the chicken scale current pets as well. I don't know. Maybe there's some reason behind it that I'm not thinking of. Holy Christmas. This guy is huge. <laughs> what the heck? That is a giant wasp. The power of the moose with a targeted donut. Alright, give me some chickens. All of our chickens are hiding. I mean, that's kind of a chicken, if you squint. Hmm. It's not great. We could do this and just kind of hope it doesn't get overwritten immediately. Even though it probably will. Oh, dude, he's living my dream. <laughs> this does not look good. Oh? Okay, we're actually fine. Wait, hold up. We actually win those? That's insane. I was like hoping for a draw there. And then we actually do it. Which is perfect. Okay. Oh, this is good. One more chicken. We'll have a level three with mushroom. That's going to be so solid. Now who goes first? Oh, we get to overwrite. Beautiful. And you take him out. Oh, dude, this is just so good. This is all just going perfectly in our favor right now. Oh, and then we find it. Okay. Where do we put the chocolate on? We could get a level up here on Nessie. It's like our chicken's already level three, right? So is it really doing anything? I don't know. Manticore with the Frost Wolf though is actually really strong. Oh, there's our Nessie. I'm glad we didn't do it already. Oh, okay. We can get a level two tiger. White tiger, I should say. Oh no. He's got the whale shark counter. Wait, but the rest of his guys are super weak. Hold on. Dude, are we going to do it? This is like the fastest chicken game ever. <laughs> this seems a little ridiculous. Let's be clear though. The chicken is definitely a big driver on why we're winning here. Like these stats are entirely from the chicken. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be the real test. Can we get through these guys? Dude, the manticore? Holy Christmas, that was insane. <laughs> the manticore did so much damage at level 2 with the frost wolf. Jesus criminy. Well, it ended a little quickly. We'll have to run it back for sure, but chicken's very solid. I mean, I love a double ant start. That's always good. Triple ant is horrid. We'll go groundhog. <laughs> And if you're wondering, I don't know if, I've, if this has been in a video yet, but we got the subscription. Um, I don't really care for any part of the subscription, but what they don't tell you is if you get the Super Auto Pet subscription, you get a 64 person lobby cap for customs. So when we're, when we're streaming and whatnot, that'll be the play. Speaking of, when this, when this releases, we're going to be streaming actually right when it releases <laughs> at 8 central on Saturday so probably we'll probably release this a little early so it, it'll probably drop at like 7 30 instead of the normal eight o'clock um, so after you finish this video come check out the stream hang out for a bit it'll be fun all right back to the game let's get a little chupacabra cook in here Honestly, I'm a huge fan of Chupacabra in general. He feels super good. And then if you can get like a B or something, you know, anything with high attack behind it, it's just insane. I mean, I'll always take a cap here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I mean, drop bear is tempting, but we kind of have the team already, you know? Like, this is kind of the play until, until we, like, hard pivot. And we ain't hard pivoting into a drop bear, I'll tell you that much. Please don't hurt me. It hurt me. Oh, we're actually good. We draw. Huge. That's perfect. Okay, so we got the lasagna. The only one we're realistically keeping is the swan, probably. Maybe the chupacabra, but... You know. We can actually sell this, maybe? I don't know. Anteater is, like, okay. My problem with Anteater is it just insta-gets murdered by chupacabras. Like, it's worse than not having Anteater, <laughs> you know? So... I have mixed feelings. I think late game Anteater is pretty bad. But like early on, it's really solid. So, you know, make your own conclusions from there, I guess, is my point. Okay, we got no feigns. We could try Anteater as a temporary, you know, interim unit of sorts. And I mean, we gotta, get, we gotta run Whale Shark. How do you not? Okay, another Cappy. I mean, I love the Cappy pivots, don't get me wrong. Unfortunately, the Swan isn't really going to help us much, but it's an experience. That is not bad. Another Swan, dude. Once you get a level 3 Swan, you're pretty cooking. This actually ain't too bad here, if we just run... Double stack the swans, because he has a ton of attack. You know, he's like a solid unit. More solid than the whale shark was. Okay. Don't love that. Oh, but we're good. The anteater was a perfect selection there. Thank you, thank you. Hmm, could get a level 2 if we want it. Do a little turtle anteater combo here. It's it's always hard to know when to stop pivoting your cappies, you know? It's one of those like oh well, there's another Oh okay, just kidding. Now we know. Like once you get a solid team that you're like sticking with. Then you're like, yeah, stop pivoting. But what if you don't get that for a while? You know, you can't just keep the capybara forever. That would be crazy. So it's kind of a difficult choice to make. Hmm, level me here for sure. Oh, early chicken, hold on. We could do this. I haven't gotten the chicken build going yet. Maybe we check it out. Let's see. Uh, I think we're good here. Yes? No, maybe? Okay, yeah, we double hit, so we're good. Glad we got two hits on that, homie. I mean, this just ain't a husky build here. This is... We're stacking chickens out here. <laughs> Give me all the chickens. And then we can... White Tiger, we can level two. There's a lot of a lot of cool stuff we can do here. I mean, you definitely want a saber tooth here, right? Just a better version of anteater, in some ways, in most ways. Okay, snipe the corp. Nope, we're gonna get nuked. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that could not have gone worse. That capybara had triggered so many times. Alright, let's help out, help out the chickens a little with some canned food. Oh, we could stack canned foods with sauropods? <laughs> Hold up. That sounds kind of good. Alright, I like this. And then we roll another canned food. Yo. This is looking gnarly. Okay. Oh, and perfect 
knockout here. Perfect knockout there. Dude, we're on to something. We are on to something. Okay, there's another sauropod, though we have cornucopia, so we can greet a little bit. Oh, baby, we found a mushroom for our chicken. Dude. Alright. I mean, we just get rid of blowfish here, right? Double stack sauropods. Start cooking. Um, we could put a mushroom in our sauropod. See, the thing with orange is the chicken's gonna outscale the orange in a single turn. So I don't really like doing those too much. Melon's good, though. Throw the melon on a little sauropod and call it a day. And now we're still at 10 gold after all that. That's crazy. Okay, so we'll hold on to the saber tooth. We've got enough health that we can greed a little bit. So that's always nice. Um, I think we're just good here. This guy has a ton of health, but... Oh, Jesus, that guy's huge. Just kidding. I was gonna say, not a ton of attack, except... You look at the yak over here, and he's been cooking. Okay, let's go here. We could have kept the saber tooth frozen for some more canned food, but I mean, come on. What are the odds of that, you know? Okay. Dude, that's a lot of sauropods. I want to make use of these sauropods, though, and I don't want to... All I want really is canned food. None of these other foods are going to outscale the chicken. Except for, I guess, maybe if we do... What was it? The the Peach of Immortality. That one I'd still play. In a pinch. But like, I mean, we can held food the swan, I guess. Just because it's free. But who cares, you know? <laughs> so it's, it's hard. We got to find a balance here. Where we're keeping these sauropods frozen. Specifically so that we can have that open space. And... You know, do the combination thing with the solar pod, refresh the triggers. But... Ooh, hello. Um, we got two phoenixes out here. How's this gonna line up? Um... Pretty much one for one. Yeah. <laughs> the phoenixes... Perfectly match each other. Dude, what is with all these sauropods out here? Hold on. This is insane. Right, what do we got? <laughs> More sauropods? What the heck? Okay. I probably should have unfrozen one and then switched the other because it's bigger, but okay, who cares? Okay, so we'll play the bigger sauropod so we can combine it later, I think. Okay, so that's good. Um, nothing really that we're going for. I mean, peach maybe, but... Canned foods. We found a chicken. I guess we could have played peach. It's effectively free. What are the odds we're going to find that many more things? So we can play this one. We can start getting them scaled up, I guess. The only time... I'll put it this way. The only time peach of immortality is useful in this kind of shop scaling build is on a, t a level 3 you can't update its stats once it's max level. So unlike the swan here, if we want to keep the swan around, Peach of Immortality is not bad. Um, okay, so how do we want to do this? It's kind of this weird, like, <laughs> how many people are we keeping frozen? Because there aren't enough canned foods for all the sauropods we've got here. Oh god, they have a big bear in the back. That is not looking good. Oh god. <laughs> oh, and he just keeps going. Okay. We're on one. We gotta pull it together. Um, so we can combine the chicken, get some higher stats here. Let's make use of the free cornucopia food. I mean, peach, we can keep scaling. Get the swan cooking up. I think it's really valuable having the extra three gold per turn. 
That's an extra 9-9 nine, nine on the Sabertooth. That's pretty good. And this is like kind of like a Peach if we just throw Lasagna on. Really just because I want to get him to level 3. I mean, we don't have any, any homie uh, ailments. That's what they're called for the Manticore. So maybe we'll do the Sauropod. But I guess, what if we just slot in the Scorpion? As a little... Little gotcha, you know? Punches through melon right now. That's huge. Um, if he doesn't get frozen, that is. I swear, every time, <laughs> every time we run mushroom on a chicken, they just have a frost wolf. Okay, let's do this. Finally, we're finding some canned food. <laughs> More sorrow pods. At what point do we have enough sorrow pods? Probably never. Based on our previous sorrow pod build, I think any number of sorrow pods is good. Wouldn't that be nice if you could refresh the triggers even on a level 3? That'd be huge. Okay, so we can throw this on the Sabertooth, but we don't want to use a third chocolate on him because we'd ideally get to level him with like a another shop Sabertooth or something. We'll see though. I guess that Peach of Immortality probably should have gone in level 3 based on my previous rationale. We can update the chicken stats here. Combine, throwing a phoenix in the back as a little, little gotcha. Okay, I mean honestly another peach isn't bad either. I mean now we're making money every time we buy food. So we kind of want to make sure we're buying three foods per round. Okay. I mean that's fine. Fortunately, they cook through it, but I mean, this 30 30 Phoenix is gonna make it. He's gonna get us there for sure. Um, okay, so updating the Sabertooth stats by 2 2. <laughs> Not quite as much as I was hoping. I will take the chicken just because it's gonna hyper compound our scaling here. Get an extra 2 2 every turn. Not bad. So now we need Peach of Immortality on any of these level 3s, is our current goal. Um, okay, so we can Chocolate, get 4 gold from that, and then maybe refresh with the Sauropod, but that actually, not going to have enough money to buy anything then. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little tricky, dude. This is a, an un unheard of number of sauropods out here. Sometimes they just keep coming. It's crazy. Similar build. I like it. Oh, we live with one. That's huge. Um, actually, I don't think it would have mattered. But it's still huge in some ways. More peaches. Are we finding so many more peaches than canned foods, you know? Canned food. <laughs> That's the whole point of the build is the shop scaling. And the peaches are going to outscale it. We're actually almost to 50-50 though. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we got to start considering pivots here. Manticore with the Phoenix is probably a good pivot. Oh, more peaches? Sure. Get you to 50 as soon as possible. And I don't think we're going to survive to use this mushroom. And it's probably going to get overwritten, but in case they don't overwrite, this is pretty solid. Mm -mm -mm. What else do we need? More canned food, of course. I think we stack manticores in preparation for next turn. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, 
perfect kill on that guy. That's huge. That could have been very bad. Are we going to do another... Yeah, we're just going to trade, aren't we? <laughs> the perfect Phoenix synergy. The mirror match. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take the draw. I hate being on one heart. It's terrifying. Okay, so... We might as well use the chocolates, because we're gaining money when we do. And then we'll probably have to ditch a sauropod, all things considered. Um, I mean a bear could work pretty well. They're all huge anyways. Ooh, more peaches. Let's just get... What do we want to do this? We'll get you to 50. Now we've used up all of the sauropods. Chicken leg is fine. They're basically 50. Okay, so let's do this. This is like our big pivot round. We're gonna say we're done scaling with food here. Mostly. You know, the chicken's gonna cap out, almost cap out next round for most of our guys. Um, so then we can just cook from there. And if we find a peach of immortality, we could do it. And food, sure, sure. Or, <laughs> or, hold on. Hold that thought. Okay, we got some, we got some good options here. I like it. Can override you. Don't like how the saber tooth is doing right now. The manticore is going to do work on these guys. Oh yeah. Honestly, I think the only thing that can beat this team is the, the goofy Phoenix squad. Like if they have the Phoenix 3 squad, it's probably going to beat us. Because it'll just nuke everybody with the manticores and all that. But, you know, if that happens, so be it. You know, like at some point, <laughs> how much can you really do to stop it? Okay. I mean, we're probably not getting the Manticore up. Um, how do we want to do this? I want to sell the chicken for something. But we need, like, a unit in front, right? None of our guys right now, except for the chicken currently, can sit up front. So if we can find a good up front unit, that would be huge. Um... I mean, a flea could overwrite something, I guess. We could just hold on to the bear for for combining purposes. Okay. Again, if it's if it's a phoenix build, so be it. It's a phoenix build. <laughs> it's a gosh darn phoenix build. Um, how is this gonna pan out? Let's find out. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's not actually the phoenix, I guess, that's the issue here. It is, but it's the whale shark that gets it done. I mean, okay, if I found a 50-50 whale shark, I would have won too. We just didn't find one. But that was a pretty good one. I think that perfectly shows an early chicken shop scaling effect. It's solid. It really is. And this, this game isn't that fast. You know, we're, we're really not going that fast. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.